guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, thank you for joining me. My name is Dominique, aka Legally Bomb. And before we even get into the video, if you have not already, please be sure to subscribe right down there, there, somewhere. Just hit the subscribe button and then also hit the bell notification so that you'll be up to date when I post my videos. So today's video is not anything like structured. Um, it was just a few things that I just needed to get off of my chest. So I was like, why not just turn the camera on and talk about it? Because I feel like people, you guys enjoy when I do these like life vlogs and just kind of, you know, talk about what's going on. So if you are new, um, I'll just give you a little rundown. About two months ago, I quit my job and I moved back home. My job was in Missouri. I'm back in North Carolina. So, um, I've kind of been, you know, keeping you all up to date with what is going on. You know, just kind of keeping you guys informed of my life. And, I mean, I haven't really posted any new updates because there's really nothing new uh, to share. But, I have just been feeling frustrated. I will tell you. I, there's three things that I want to talk about. Frustration. No, not three. I can't remember. Whatever. But there's a few things that I want to talk about. You know, so I was just like, let me just turn on the camera and talk to my peeps. Because like I said, I think y'all really like these videos. That's why I look like no makeup on, no wig on, hair not done. Like, I was like, let me turn on the camera real quick and talk to my peeps. Because, I don't know, sometimes y'all, I think y'all like this. Like, I, do y'all are y'all feeling this? You know, give me a thumbs up if you guys are feeling, you know, these talks. But, um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about, um is i think i said this in my last update vlog but i just want to say it again i am not sad you know there's nothing wrong with me i just no i'm not sad after quitting my job i was sad when i was working um but once i shared like when i posted those videos of me quitting my job i decided to quit my job back in february so those videos are posted in april so i had months to like deal with it and all that stuff and I didn't look at my quitting my job as something sad. It looked like it was like a moment of relief, which kind of leads me to my next point. Like when I share things, um, be it on my YouTube channel, when I share personal things on my YouTube channel or my Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, legally bomb with two B's and an underscore at the end. Um, I don't share things immediately. If that makes sense, like. I didn't share like I was quitting my job, you know, the day I put in my notice or the day I decided. I, I shared it, you know, basically. Well, on my Twitter, I kind of hinted around at it, but I never kind of came out and said it. And that's how I do a lot of things. I deal with things personally. Um, I deal with things. I get the opinions and I talk to it with the people around me who actually know me best. And so by the time I get a chance to share it, you know, I'm pretty okay. Um, if that makes sense like I've dealt with it you know I've had I've talked to the people whose opinions I actually value and not to say I don't value people other people's opinions because I do appreciate when you guys reach out to me and say like you know I love your vlogs you know I just quit my job and I'm doing this and you probably just I love that but that's not why like that's not my main reason for um sharing like I share more so to help somebody else it's not to help me like I like I said that makes sense like I've already dealt with it so I'm good on it like like say if like somebody in my family was to pass I'm not the day they pass I'm not gonna talk about it on social media I might talk about it a week or however long later that's just how I am I like to deal with things in the real granted this is all the real world but social media kind of creates this false sense of reality for some people and so I deal with things personally and in my real world before I take them to social media just because you know when you put things on social media it allows people to insert their opinions and if you're not okay with your situation if you're not okay with things those opinions can really mess with you and so that's why I'm sure to always make sure I'm okay with whatever I'm sharing before I share it. I don't do this for the validation of social media. I do this to help somebody else. You know, I've already been helped. I'm good. So that's why I feel like I, when people reach out to me, they'll try to like, 
I don't know, sometimes I think people think that I'm sad or that I'm upset or I'm depressed or I'm down because I don't have a job or because I quit my job. And it's like, no, I'm actually pretty good. Like, this is, I feel, well, we'll talk about how I feel later on. But for the most part, holistically, I am good. And when I share with you all, I dealt with it. Like, I, I cried off camera or not well, one of my other video, I did cry on camera. But what I'm saying is, like, I've talked to my friends about it, I've talked to my family about it, whoever else I need to talk about it, who actually knows me personally, before I share it with the world, just because I don't, the opinions of the, the opinions that I can get from social media are, can be those, uh, can be those of people who don't really know me, if that makes sense. I hope this makes sense in what I'm saying, like, it makes sense to me, but I hope you guys get what I'm saying. Like, I'll always be honest, I will always, you know, share what I feel like I need to share, there will be some things that I will not talk about, just because I don't. I need to talk about them but anything else you know I'm willing to be an open book um, just because I do it because I feel like I'm put here to help somebody else all right so now what else am I feeling I am feeling frustrated the title of this video is going to be what did I say I said it. Come on. Uh, I, the title of this video is frustrated jobless and unforgiving but you'll know that by now, but I'm just putting this in there for myself. I'm feeling very frustrated just because it's a lot going on in my life. Aside from me not having a job and me thinking like, okay, I'll have a job by this point and I still don't have a job. It, it's becoming frustrating for me because it's like I'm doing what I can and it's still not happening. And in this time, it's very hard to still be faithful and to still keep my head up when it's just like golly like I told my mom I was like I feel like life is happening and I can't keep up like I it's a lot of things that I have to kind of sit out of or not do because you know I'm on a tighter budget than other people just because I don't have money coming in so I can't just you know live as freely as I would like to and that's part of my frustration and I'm just tired of not of not working like it's so boring Another part of that is when I'm, now that I'm back home and I'm seeing people for the first time in months, the first thing that they'll say to me is, oh, well, what are you doing now? Or have you found a job? And it's just like, it reminds me back when I was graduating, when I had just graduated from college, people was asking me like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm just like, I don't wanna talk about it. And lately it's really been irritating to me because it's just like another reminder to me that, girl, you still ain't got no job. So it's just like, dang. And so um, I was out somewhere, I won't say specifics because whatever. Um, I was out somewhere a couple weeks ago and someone spoke to me and I don't even know if they said hey or not, but they were just like, did you find a job yet? And I was like, no, not yet, I'm still looking. And then they said, their response to that was, um, oh, you don't want no job, you don't want to work. And I was just like, like it really like it really pissed me off just because in that moment I was still struggling with the fact that I still didn't have a job so that was like the issue the, the topic was more sensitive to me than it has been um since I've been home as of late that topic has been very sensitive to me so for that person to say that it just really like pissed me off because why wouldn't I want to work like what I also feel like people are looking at me like oh she like that person said like she doesn't want to work she's just chilling and it's not that I'm just chilling it's more so like I'm looking for my perfect opportunity because I did not leave my job that I had to just take come here and take another job like if that's what I wanted to do I could have stayed in Kansas City so it's frustrating to me when I have to either explain that to people or people think that I am being lazy or whatever else and and it's like that's really not the case like if I if I could work I would and I mean even like if I go apply at like Target or the mall or whatever they still like, it still takes time you know so and that's not ideally where I want to be and then when I tell people oh no I'm not really interested in that it's like they're looking at me crazy like well girl you ain't got no job so you need to take something but I don't feel that way like I said, like I left my job for a reason. I did not leave my job to just take any other job. And because that's how I feel and that's what I'm sticking to, it's gonna take a while and I have to remind myself of that. But it just pisses me off even more when people 
feeling to insert these opinions and ideals upon me. And it's just like, I'm not bothering nobody. And like, why would you think that I was trying to be lazy or anything like that? You know, like, but just shut up. So that's part of my frustration. And then the whole thing of people just asking me like, oh, what are you doing now? What are you doing? And I'm just like, can we, hello, hey to you too. Can we talk about other things? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'm being, I don't know if that sounds bratty or not, but I don't mean to sound like a brat. I'm just really frustrated when people just not under, I feel like I'm misunderstood. You know, because then it's like I don't go nowhere because, like I said, I try to. I'm on the tight budget. I want to lie to y'all. I'm on a tight budget, so I don't really go to many places. But when I do, it's looking like it's like, well, how can somebody go so and so? And then uh, I'm going somewhere next week, and I was telling somebody about it, and it was like, uh, oh, you going here, but you ain't got no job. And I'm just like, uh, 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 what? But if you must though, this was paid for when I had a job. Things like that are really irritating to me just because people don't know me. The people who are saying these things do not know me and you do not know my situation. That's why it just goes to show like, you have to watch what you say to people. And I know people do not mean, the people, the examples I use, I know they don't mean any harm, but still like, you have to check the things that come out of your mouth. Because everybody, you can say whatever you want to somebody, but everybody is not gonna be so forgiving you know, and letting you slide. Like, you might get checked one day. Like, you cannot just be talking to people any kind of way. And because both of those people were, like, elders, I did not, like, say anything back. You know, I was very kind in my response. But it still irritated me nonetheless. And I think it irritated me more because I could not say what I wanted to say back. But, yeah, your girl is just feeling frustrated, like... <sighs> life is going and going and going and your girl cannot keep I, I put myself in this situation and I understand that so it's like it just comes with the territory so I just gotta deal with it I guess I'm just feeling really frustrated like frustrated with my life and where it's at and then frustrated with people and the things that come out of their mouth because it's like people do like I said I think I said this in my postcard video I don't know but it's like people don't say hello like they don't check on how you're doing, like your well-being. They just want to know, like, you got a job? Are you working? You know, and it's like, why is that relevant? Like, whether I have a job or not is honestly not anyone's business. You know, especially if I'm not asking you for money or my unemployment does not take from you, I'm not really sure why you're concerned. And I know people don't mean any harm by it, but by this point, I'm tired. You know, I'm just tired. I really had enough. And so... That is, I guess you call that an update of life. Like, still don't have a job. I'm feeling kind of frustrated. I am about to go on vacation in a week, and I cannot wait because your girl needs a break. Cause I spend a lot of time in my in this house like by myself, and so I think a lot, and I just need a break. I need a distraction. So I cannot wait for that. Y'all will see where I'm going when I share it next week. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about, this doesn't have anything to do with anything, but I am not feeling very forgiving. No, I don't mean that. I, I'm not, well, how can I put this? <clears throat> I was tweeting last night and I was just saying how I'm, all, I'm always a pretty forgiving person. You know, with me, Everybody starts with an A, you know, everybody starts with the 100 and Until you know until you do things that make me not trust you or not like you, you know If you don't do any of those things, we're all good. It's all good in my book But once you start to do those things, it's You know, it knocks your grade down, but And normally when something happens to me or somebody does something to me I'm pretty good at forgiving them and also I'm pretty good at like moving forward but with me moving forward, I feel like I try to create a new idea of a person when they've already shown me who they are and what they're capable of. And it's kind of foolish of me because it's like, okay, you can forgive, but you don't forget what people are capable of, you know? And as of lately, because of 
how emotionally drained I am from just dealing with the things that I was going through, I don't feel like, I will always forgive because I don't want to carry that burden of forgiveness. Like, when you do me wrong, that's between you and God, you know? It's not up to me because that speaks to your character more than it does mine. But when it comes to forgiving, like I said, I can forgive. But the moving forward part, I'm genuinely not interested. Like, I'd rather just leave you where you are. And I say that because, one, like I said, just said a minute ago, I'm trying to get my own self in order. And right now, it's not a lot of room for error from outside people. And because of the things that I've experienced in my life, lately since I've been home in the past month um, and then if we go even bigger in the past year you know I've been hurt by some of the closest people to me and I will not go into those situations you know it's, it's fine it's not fine but we're just not gonna talk about it. just know you know there's been some hurt feelings and I have no problem saying like somebody hurt my feelings or somebody upset me and I just I'm genuinely not interested in trying to rebuild these relationships it's no bad blood but i just want to leave you where you are just because i don't have time for distractions i don't have time for people who are going to take away during my the time when i need to be pouring into myself the most like i'm, I'm genuinely not interested in mending anything and i know that sounds harsh but i'm just i'm i'm tired like I'm tired of being forgiving and moving forward and trying to rebuild these relationships or whatever and I just don't feel like it because nine times out of ten when people do things to you or when they do something wrong they're not sorry because they hurt you or whatever they're sorry because they got caught or because you called them out on it and for me like I've never been big on apologies you can ask well I don't know who you can ask but I've never really been big on apology because of that idea. Like, I feel like people only apologize because they got caught. It's different if somebody brings something to you and they say, you know, you did X, Y, and Z. When you do something unintentionally, I'll say that, and you don't know it, somebody brings it to you and they're like, oh, well, what you did hurt my feelings or what you did I wasn't really cool. And you're like, okay, my bad. That's a different. But when you do something knowing that it's wrong and you only apologize when it's brought to you, you're not apologizing because you're sorry. You're apologizing because you got caught. And so with that, I, like I said, I've never been big on apologies and I don't want to hear it from anybody. I don't want to move, like I don't, I don't feel like it y'all, I don't. I, I don't. And I, I don't know if that's me like growing up or what, but I've just had, I've really had enough. Like my feelings have been hurt too much by some important people to me and I'm tired so anybody else you really get nothing from me but and I know that I know this sounds harsh and I don't mean to sound harsh but at some point you have to be selfish and right now I have to be super selfish with me because I got a lot going on you know trying to get myself in back in order from I honestly, I don't feel like I've been, like it's been rough since my last, my fifth year of school, my last year of school. That year was rough and then the year after that is when I moved and y'all know that was rough. So it's just like, I never really, I would have moments of happiness, but it's never just been like 2016 was a good year, 2017 was a good year, 2018, well maybe 2018 will be a better year in the second half, but 2016, 2017, those were not like super good years for me. They had good moments, but they were not like, I have yet to have a winning year. So, because that's my goal to just be happy and to be full. Um, when I say full, I mean spiritually. Um, I have to be selfish and I have to just say no. Like, that's fine if you did, did me wrong, it's no bad blood but we cannot move forward in the way that we moved before. That just can't happen for me right now. Not to say it won't happen in the future, I don't know, but I don't feel, I just don't feel like it. Cause the stuff that is going on, like, 
It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. And right now, um, and it all just came at once, like. It all just came. It was like a domino effect. Like, knock me down, knock me down, knock me down. And I'm just like, dang. Can I bounce back at all? Like, and normally I'm a pretty strong person, but these past few weeks, I ain't been feeling it. You know, I haven't been feeling as strong. And I'm realizing, like, I just have to say, all right, like, I have to cut it off. I have to cut people off and just say, you know, this is where we stand and it's not gonna go any further. Because right now, you're taking away from my peace and my happiness that I'm trying to rebuild and I don't have time for that. So that's that. But um, yeah, I just had to come and get these things off of my chest, child. Because I will not lie to y'all, these this past month and a half has been real rough for the kid. But I still keep pushing, you know, I still do what I gotta do. Just because, you know, it's always somebody out there who have it worse, who has it worse than you. And the things that are going on, it's not the end of the world. And then sometimes the stuff things will feel like it's the end of the world, but it's really not. Cause in that moment it's just like, wow, really? Like how am I gonna bounce back from this? But you always end up bouncing back. Like I said, it could all be worse. Like, I'm not laid up in a hospital bed, can't move, can't do this. I'm still here, I'm still alive. Like, the hurt and the feelings that I feel are internal, you know what I'm saying? It's not anything physical that would hinder me, like, if that makes sense. So, what I, what's going on with me, I can work through it. But in order for me to work through it properly, I really have to say, just tell people and just let people know like we have to create that space but yeah I hope what I was saying like made sense I know I was like rambling but I always think of stuff I want to say before like how I want to get it out to you all and then when I get in front of the camera it kind of comes out differently and this was a different kind of video because I'm like there's no not that I have a script but when I do any video but this was like I'm just talking um, just because I feel like y'all can feel me, you know, I'm not the only one that feels like this. And maybe these are, are you think, do y'all think these are like growing pains? Like, golly, I think let's call these growing pains because girl, child, this stuff here is something new to me, but Y'all see, I'm still here. I'm still making videos, so. But yeah. Thank you guys for joining me in this little chit chat, this little talk. I don't know what's going on with Channel Max. We'll see. But, like I said before, make sure you are subscribed and make sure that you click the little notification bell so that you are informed on what's coming next. But, um, alright guys, I will see you guys in the next one. That is all.